Well, howdy, friends. Brian Fleshing, a matter of Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another one of our Q&A videos. As always, friends, we appreciate you being here. Be sure to send those questions over to admin at madriveroutfitters.com. That way I will see them. And of course, if it's an emergency, you can pick up the phone and give us a call or a customer service question. Um, you know, kind of Q&A stuff is kind of stuff that will help everybody. If you're wondering what rod to buy or what line matches up with your rod best, that's really, you should really call Mad River Outfitters. But we appreciate you being here. Send those questions over to admin at madriveroutfitters.com. I also don't make it to social media. Um, so email or phone is the way to get to us, and uh, we appreciate that. So anyway, let's jump right in. And uh, Sergio Murillo, uh, apologize if I pronounced that wrong. At least it's not German like in our last Q&A episode, but... Sergio, Sergio is from Pueblo, Colorado. I think I got that part right. So Sergio says, Brian, thank you so much for your tutorials, knowledge, and wisdom. Always a breath of fresh air to see your dedication to educate us. Well, Sergio, I appreciate that. And uh, we are dedicated. We love what we do and we're glad that it shows. So uh, please stay tuned. I've been watching and watching your videos on double hauling. I've been practicing a lot as well. In your video, it is very clear what has to happen for the physics to work the pole and the line. So far, very clear. Uh, if you're not familiar, you guessed it, I have a video. Actually, it's me and my buddy Flip. But that video is probably right about there, maybe here, somewhere right in there. Um, you can click on that and watch our video on double hauling, which is quite possibly one of the most important things you could ever learn about fly casting. So my question is, what am I supposed to do with the line, pull it while I pull it with my left hand? Do I pinch and hold? Do I release a bit while down casting? Is the line supposed to be the same length and does not increase distance? Um, if you would be so kind to explain this, I would be forever grateful. Well, Sergio, um, uh, let me see if I fully understand your question, and I think I'll be able to answer it. Of course, as you're in that loop formation, the speed stroke, you're going to be pinching tight with this hand, okay? And then you're going to give that line a little tug there. And then if this were an actual fishing and casting situation and we weren't in a studio, that line would have gone out, right? I tugged and then came back up. In fact, in the video, I call it pull and catch up. And yes, I meant as in Heinz catch up. No, it's pull, catch up, pull, catch up. What you're saying right here is I've pulled the line and now it's caught up, okay? And yes, in order to pull on it, and in order for it to catch up, you do need to pinch tight. Now, at that point, as the line is unrolling up and high behind you, you can let go of a little bit and extend it and shoot a little bit of the slack that's, that's here. Whether it's on the deck of the boat or at your feet or on the surface of the water, you can shoot some of that line by simply releasing the line. But then, as soon as you begin that stroke coming forward, the second that you start bringing the rod forward, you've got to pinch again. You're going to pinch, 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 pinch. Otherwise, you'll, you lose the point of reference on the rod. And then you're going to pull again. And at that point, your hands are going to come back together. So pull and catch up again. And at that point, of course, you can shoot the line again. So yes, I think that's what you're asking. You're gonna hold tight, and then once you've stopped and the line is now unrolling, while it's unrolling, you can let go of that pinch. You can de-pinch, unpinch, and shoot a little bit of line, just like you can on the floor. Pull, catch up, de-pinch, shoot, and then pinch again, put the line under your index finger, okay? So remember, the upcast and the downcast, or the back cast and the front cast are exactly the same thing in the opposite direction. 
So yes, you can shoot line here just as you can shoot line here. Now it's obviously going to be more common that you're going to shoot more often and you're going to shoot more line on the downstroke or the forward stroke. But you can let out some line. In fact, we were just in Montana, and you'll see this soon, and we did a video on casting with sinking lines, sink tips and Kelly Gallup style sinking lines. In fact, uh, Kelly is going to be in the video, uh, and, and I talk a lot about the left hand control. I talk about when to pinch, when you can let go, when to pinch, when you can let go. In a lot of ways, the control of your fly line with your left hand is just at, or more important than your casting hand. So, Sergio, I hope that helps. Also, stay tuned. We, we're going to get this into the fly casting series. If you're not familiar with the fly casting series, I think episode one is right there. And I think we're up to about... 400, no, 14 episodes? Okay, 14 episodes. It seems like 400. But 14 episodes, uh, 15, 16, 17 are coming right down the pike, so stay tuned. Uh, we've got some special guests, as always, and some cool topics. But I'm, I'm going to cover this. I will cover this for you in a fly casting episode, and you'll see it actually done and out on the water. So another quick casting uh, question comes to us from Glenn Bickley from Washington, D.C. And Glenn says, Folks, thanks for your help. Not long ago, outfitting a short trip with some novice buddies. The weekend went splendidly. Rather than stretching the wrong gear for the job, we sprung for a couple of the entry-level Reddington outfits, as Brian suggested. And spent, we spent two days in Vermont and had ourselves a total hoot I mean, nothing's, nothing's better than having a hoot. So thanks to you, the world now has two new enthusiastic and, dare I say, talented fly fishermen converts. Cheers to that, right? Well, absolutely cheers. Uh, uh, a hoot and a cheers. So I've got another question. Do you have any tips for short casts? I'm fine and dandy casting in that happy 25 to 35 foot range, but when things get a bit shorter and tighter out front, I don't feel quite so consistent in putting the fly where I want the finesse I'd like. No specific issues, just any general pointers you might have. Sincere and heartfelt thanks for everything. Well, sincere and heartfelt thanks for being a part of Mad River Outfitters and what we do. Really appreciate the work you're doing and all the effort and resources that go into such great content. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for that. We really thank you for the business in particular, um, we, we appreciate the support, greatly appreciate it. It's, it's only with your support that we're able to make these videos um, and you allow us to uh, make a, a living and uh, doing what we love to do. Um, you know, So we, we love what we do and glad that it shows. So thanks for the support. So yes, Glenn, uh, I think it was episode, maybe episode 14, episode 13. I'll put it r right up there course we have a video um, there it is um, in that episode flip and I actually sat on his back porch and we talked about fly casting and there were some really really great nuggets that flip shared with us in that video and one of the things that he said was that your casting stroke never changes that extra speed extra distance comes from your left hand. Your right hand does the same thing all the time, which as you said, is telling the cast yeah. where it wants to go. Exactly where to go. This tells it how fast to get there. And it really applies here, Glenn. So bear with me. I'm gonna give you two concepts and then I want you to stay tuned too because we'll do this in a fly casting episode and we'll do it out on the water so you can actually see it. But <clears throat> the the, the loop formation stroke, we've talked about this before, is 90 degrees, and it's 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, okay? Uh, the rest of the world will tell you that it's, that it's 10 to 2, and 10 to 2, if I'm not mistaken, is 120 degrees. That's too much. That's going to make a big loop. 
it's 10 to 1. This allows for an upcast and a downcast. So I want you to imagine this. If you're making a 25-foot cast, I want you to imagine that there's literally a clock face up in the air, okay? And for a 25-foot cast, you're physically touching that number 10 on that clock face, and you're physically touching the number 1 on that clock face, okay? Your rod tip literally hits the number on that size clock. And that's the size clock for a 25-foot cast. So that clock for a 25-foot cast is yay big, and you're going 10 to 1. Straight line. To make a shorter cast, everything stays the same. It's still a 90-degree angle. It's still a straight line path. It's just that all of a sudden, your clock face is much, much smaller. That's it. The stroke doesn't change, the size of the stroke changes, but the components that form the loop are still there. And then last but not least, I want you to think about your thumb, okay? Because this is all really driven by your thumb, not your arms, not your muscles, not your shoulders. For a eight foot fly cast, the stroke may be two and a half inches. For a 20-foot fly cast, the stroke might be three and a half inches. For a 50-foot fly cast, it might be nine or 10 inches maybe, but it's still a 90-degree angle, 10 to 1 straight line path with the rod tip. So I want you to think about that and practice it. Get back to me. In the meantime, we're going to send you a free hat and a fly box, and then stay tuned for an upcoming fly casting episode. So Glenn and Sergio, I hope that helps you guys out. As always, friends, send your questions to admin at madriveroutfitters.com. And if it's an emergency or a customer service question, give us a call here at the shop. Customer service is what we do for a living. Fly fishing is what we love and what we sell. So thanks as always for being here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.